Hello, I'm going to show you how to use the FSK Power Belt Skiver. After squaring and cutting the belt, skiving is the next step in the splicing process. For instructional purposes, we're going to be using a 3-ply 600 belt with a 3 16 top cover. First, we're going to set the skiver to skive 1 8 inch depth. We're going to reference the number 2 on the skiver. We're going to loosen the lock nut and adjust the blade to that number 2 position and then re-tighten the lock nut. Next, we're going to set the skiver for the correct fastener width. To do this, we're going to adjust the fence. We're going to reference the R5.5 fastener, which is the third line we're going to loosen the lock nuts and move the fence so it lines up with that third line. And we're going to re-tighten the lock nuts. Before operating the skiver, make sure the drill is set into low speed, it's set in reverse, and it's set to drill mode. We're going to take the skiver and enter it into the belt. We're going to set it underneath the front roller so the belt comes in contact with the edge of the blade, also making sure that the belt edge stays up against the edge of the fence. We're going to adjust the tension of the drive roller until we feel adequate tension onto the belt, making sure we don't over tighten. And then we're going to go ahead and press the trigger, which is a variable speed trigger, and we're going to feed the drill and skiver into the belt, making sure we don't go too fast. And then we're going to feed it underneath the second roller. And then we're going to continue to skive, making sure the belt edge stays along the fence of the skiver. And that's how you operate the FSK power belt skiver.